Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carl, welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord up for your server. Today we are talking about clearing messages, which is something we were actually going to do in the last video. But the last video is quite long and I decided to split it up into two separate videos. Um, so this video is probably going to be a lot shorter, but I want to spread things out better. Um, so we're going to come back into our mod um, cog, where we did this before, we had our, our kick and ban stuff, and we're going to make a third command. And we're going to call that command clear. And we're going to give it an alias of purge, because people like purge, apparently. Um, so we're going to do clear messages self ctx, and then we're going to have a limit, which will be an optional int with a default value of I actually don't know what a good value for this is. I would argue like a small number well i would argue that people would naturally think that the limit is going to be 100 um but i also would argue a small number in case you accidentally forget to put a number in <laughs> and um just want to clear like one or two um so i'm gonna have it as one for now and you can decide in your own time. So the first thing we're going to need to do is check that both the bot has the manage messages permission. Uh, manage message, not manage permissions. God uh, equals true, and we're going to need to check that the author has that permission as well. Um, and then once we've done that, we are going to do our command. So. We're using the purge command. Uh, we're using uh, ctx.channel.purge. Contrary to popular belief, this is not actually limited to 100 messages. Um, I believe delete messages is, or whatever it's called, I think it's delete messages, um, but purge actually isn't. Purge uh, uses the bulk deletion method until it no longer can then continues on with its normal deletion method which is to delete messages one at a time now you can only bulk delete messages um i think it's the the most recent 100 messages in a channel provided they were sent within the last 14 days um if this is not true then you cannot you cannot bulk delete the messages um so we're gonna have uh, a wait and then we're gonna have a limit equals limit oopsie those is uh, let me equal limit. At first, we actually need to do other things. So we what we can do is we can do with ctx.channel.typing, which will actually send a typing status to the channel. We never needed to do it because we haven't done anything that's particularly computational. Uh, this could be if there's a lot of messages that um, uh, can't be bot deleted. So it's useful to have. Uh, uh, ctx.channel.purge also returns the number of messages that were deleted. So we can just do deleted. Um, and we also need to do await ctx.message.delete. I've seen a lot of people do uh, limit plus one, um, but that seems quite. Um, uh, that's not foolproof. <laughs> if someone sends a message in between that, then it just kind of gets a bit weird. This at least, um, uh, using it like. Uh, this at least guarantees that the context messages are going to get deleted um, and then it will go to your limit um, uh, yeah use the limit plus one if the channel is particularly active at the time there's a chance that can go wrong uh, which is why I like to use ctx.message to delete uh, do not do ctx.delete on its own by the way that, that will really break things um, so then we can say await uh, ctx.send uh, deleted the messages Whoop, where, why the hell have I done that uh, how, also how the hell did I do that <laughs> the I have no idea how I just did that interesting um, <laughs> be something to uh, keep in mind uh, so deleted and then deleted we can use a thousand separator in case you want to not impose the 100 limit because you don't have to uh, messages and then we can actually send in the ctx to send we can do delete after i think it's delete after and then send put in a number of seconds so the default standard is five 
Um, I've used 15 for bots in the past, and that does seem to be a bit too long. Um, so I, th I think the general convention is 5 for that sort of thing. Um, if you did want to impose a limit, you could simply do if limit is greater than or equal to 100. Um, or if uh, limit less than or... Yeah, if... Yeah, if limit is greater than zero and less than or equal to 100, then do this. Um, else uh, await ctx.send uh, the limit provided is not within acceptable bounds. Um, <clears throat> so I'll basically just check the limit is between 1 and 100 inclusive. Um, again, you don't have to have that. But it, it's general convention, I believe. Um, however, you're not uh, limited to just doing this. I will, I will demonstrate this in its most simple form uh, for the time. I'm really glad I made this a separate video now. Um, if you do one, two, three, four, five, for example, and then clear, fucking type five. See, it deletes the message. Oh. Uh, Oh, well, deleted is a list. It actually returns a list. Okay. Um, so you actually want a uh, len deleted, sorry. Um, yeah, so deleted is actually a list of all the message objects that were d d uh, deleted. But you saw that it deleted the, the, uh, the CTX message first, then went and deleted the rest. Um, so if we just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. Uh, clear 5. Deletes that, deletes another, deletes five messages. You can see the typing status down there, and then this goes away after a certain amount of time. Um, so that is a simple clear command. Um, you can do more complicated things with this. So you can do, you, you do have other options. So you have after and before. So after is, and both of these are date time objects, so you need a date time object. So you, potentially do a date time dot date time I think we've imported date time already um, yeah because we import it from the embed so you could do uh, I think or maybe like date time dot string past time or something or, or maybe like 2025 one would be like the first of May or something um, I think I think that's right <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you could do something if you if you just wanted to delete messages from the first of May 2020 you could do that or you could do date time dot utc now minus time delta if you imported it days equals 14 so if you wanted to make sure they only deleted messages that were um, <clears throat> sent in the last 14 days then this is how you would do it um, uh, before is very much the same but it works the other way around so it only deletes messages so this will only delete messages before 14 days ago um, or sent longer than 14 days ago uh, so those are two things you can do, we're not going to implement either of those. But we can do a check, which takes a function, and you can do, this is useful if, if you have targets and stuff. Um, actually we will implement the uh, the after just so it's there. Uh, so date time .utc now minus time delta days equals 14, and then we're going to put this on another line. Check, check. And we're going to have check a uh, check as well. Uh, but we do need to import time delta. I just, I don't know, I, I want to keep it simple, but I want to show as much as possible, so script. Um, <clears throat> so you can actually define a function with another function. It's probably best you do an underscore, actually. Um, and that takes, that doesn't take anything, I don't think. Oh, it takes the message. It takes the message um, automatically. So check equals check, and that will just run fine. You don't need to put self in there or anything. Uh, so this check is kind of it, it's a, a predicate almost so this function needs to return either true or false um, so we could do something like uh, ctx dot author um, dot bot so if this is a completely useless check but just for explanation purposes um, so if the uh, if the context author is a bot then it will delete the messages otherwise it won't and it will do that for every single message um, so we could for example have a list of targets that we bring in 
Uh, we could do we could do our little uh, fancy greedy thing as well. Um, greedy uh, member. Because this, as I said before, will convert as many members as it can. Uh, otherwise, it will just go straight onto limit. So these are completely optional arguments. Um, as I said, if you're not sure about that, then uh, watch the last video. I explained it more in detail then when I was doing the kick command. <clears throat> you can do something like uh, if len if uh, return not len targets. Um, so if you haven't specified any targets, then just be completely indiscriminate of who you uh, delete the message of. Or if you have specified targets. You could do a message to author in targets. So what this will do is for every message it finds in purge, it will perform this check. When this check is made, it will pass the message object to it. Um, so it will check uh, every single time. It's a little bit not not uh, inefficient. It does this, but it's kind of necessary. So uh, every single message it will check to see if you passed any targets through at all. Um, <clears throat> If you haven't, then you, the bot assumes that you want to delete every single message it finds. So it will just return true. And then this will think it's true, and then it will go ahead and delete the message. However, if you do have some targets, so if the length of the targets is greater than or equal to 1, it will go to this one here, which says if message to author in targets. So say if you passed, if you passed Cabra in, if you did clear Cabra 5, it will go through... Uh, five messages uh, back in time and, and delete out of those five messages delete any sent by Cabra. Um, it will not delete the most it will, it will not delete the five most recent messages sent by Cabra. It will only delete any messages sent by Cabra within those five that it finds. Um, you need to do something completely different for that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so if I were to test that now <laughs> uh, I think that's what I really want to talk about. Yeah. Um, as I said before, this check isn't necessary. I'm just putting it in there, just so it's so it's there. Um, so if I were to do one, two, three, four, five, um, and I were to do a clear uh, five again, it would just clear five messages indiscriminately. If I were to say uh, run some commands. So if I had, if I ran help, for example, um, then the the help message would appear. If I ran a dice five d ten, the dice message would appear. Now, <clears throat> I want to get rid of these. Uh, I want to get rid of the command invocations, but I want to keep the commands there. So what I can do is I can do clear and mention myself, and then look through the last four messages. And it will delete two messages because it deleted the ones it deleted just the ones sent by me. Um, uh, we can also do so if I do like the dice command again, so five d ten. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna separate these out a bit uh, just so it makes it a bit clearer. So uh, dice five d ten. We'll do that again. And we also want oh, it's gonna use a cornell. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll evoke some stuff by tutorial bot. So we'll, uh, we'll get the help command up, screw it. Why the hell not? Um, and we'll get the, well, I actually don't know what other things there are. Humans, we'll find out how many humans are in the server. Um, and we'll get the UI, we'll get our UI. Um, and we want to get rid of all the bot messages. So we want to get rid of the message by Carbreader and tutorial bot. So we can go through the last, I actually don't know, maybe 10 or something. <laughs> but the only problem with this system is that eventually you get to the point where it's like, I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> clear 10 by carburetor or tutorial bot. Um, so it'll go through 10 messages and as you can see, it actually deleted 10 messages. <laughs> Why? Oh, did I delete messages for myself? I might, I might have accidentally done the wrong thing. Hang on. Uh, so dice five d ten. Um, humans keep it small. Um, no, it's humans. That there we go. And then clear. Uh, I'm pretty sure I actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually passed the wrong thing in there. The wrong account there. 
sorry. So now it will go through and it will delete five messages by, there we go. So it deleted uh, two messages, but it left all the command invocations there. Um, so you're seeing what we're what I'm getting at. I might actually set this to like five, maybe like a clear. I don't know. You can even set this to like if you if you have a clear, you don't you don't have a limit, and it just deletes every message sent in the last fourteen days. You could do that um, if you just had none. Um, but I'm going to set it to five. I guess. Oh no, we're going to leave it at one. Um, most of the time you would specify how many messages you wanted to clear anyway. Um, <clears throat> but then is there is there a point in having... That is for you to decide, my friends. Um, but, yeah, that is a clear message command. There are other things you can do with this check. So you could say pass a message ID and then check the message ID is smaller than that one or larger than that one. Um, <clears throat> So you can kind of do like a clear until and then get to the message ID. That'd be pretty cool. I've actually done that one before. Um, but yeah, clearing messages can be quite a complicated thing. And I'm very glad I split this in two videos. Um, yeah, uh, if you like the video, then say hello down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below as well. Or uh, join a Discord server using the link in the description. If you really like the video, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get notified of future uploads. If you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be a really cool thing of you to do next time in episode number 21. God, we're getting really far. We're talking about muting and unmuting members. Um, this is kind of a non-standard thing. Um, so there'll be, again, a little bit more explanation. Um, but uh, I'll get back to you on that, obviously, in the next video. Um, so I'll see you then.